Welcome back to the homestead. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon here in Maine for November. Mid-November, it's like 65 degrees out and sunny. But we're back on the Dodge Project, and uh, today we wanted to show you some of the goings on with the fuel system and the fuel heater. So on these 12 valve Cummins, there's a uh, lift pump, mechanical lift pump, which is actually right here. It goes on the side of the block like that and the cam pushes on that pumps fuel and it pumps it through a, uh, a heater so this is your fuel heater this goes on the pump goes in there like that like that hooks all together like that and that bolts to the side of the engine with two bolts so we've separated the two and this is our main attraction for the day so what we want to do, the wires are bad in here. This heater really doesn't help it start in cold weather. Um, there's probably somewhere around a quart and a half, two quarts of fuel between the heater and the engine, the injectors. So this really has no value. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna delete the fuel heater. And I wanna show you just how simple it really is. Uh, I've been struggling with this because I was gonna buy a kit, I was gonna buy another fuel heater, and then I found a a little how-to so I wanted to bring you along and show you just how easy that is so we're gonna get it set up in the vise over here and see if we can get you set up where you can see what what we're doing real well I feel like that's gonna work pretty good right there yeah I feel like that's gonna work pretty good so the fuel bowl I've already had it apart so I don't need a wrench but it's 17 millimeter and you can do this on the truck. I just, I've got the truck all tore apart. So you want to spill, spin your fuel bowl off. Inside here, there's a screen. There's a little nut right here. And we want to loosen that nut. And we're going to take this screen out. And ours is pretty clean, but we're going to wash it all out anyways. So we're going to make a place here to set all of our parts. There's also a gasket on here, and I did order a new gasket, so we'll peel that gasket out. Now, on the heater, the heater element, right in here, is held in with this center screw. So we're going to go ahead and get an Allen wrench on that. I believe it's a 5 16 Yes, it's a 5 16 Allen wrench. And that just unscrews, just like that. And this piece comes out. And the heating element comes off. Now, you can see that's what we're left with. And you can also see that now the bowl, the sediment bowl, actually screws right on. And that's really all there is to it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take a break. We're going to wash all these parts up and we'll bring you back and show you how to put this together. So hold on, we'll be right back. So we've got all of our parts washed up and we're going to go ahead and start assembling. We've got our bottom piece. We've washed our screen out. That drops down in like that. We put the nut on there. And see if you can ask. Yeah, put the nut in there like that. Run it down snug, and then you want to give it just a touch with a pair of pliers. Now we got that. We did get ourselves a new gasket. We'll go ahead and stick that in there, like a so. And then we're just going to screw the two pieces together. Just like that. Now I'm going to crank it up in the vise here. See if I can find some place where you guys can watch me do this. And we're going to give it a pretty good crank. That's it. We now have one fuel strainer less a heater. So this is the heater element here. 
You know, what normally happens is right inside here, these normally start to melt. And when they do, they let air suck in around. And, uh, and then you start getting hard starts and whatnot. Because you can see inside right there, those two metal pieces just come in. And over time, I think, you know, the connection gets bad. And they, uh, you know, yeah, they burn. So we're going to take, give you a little explanation of the lift pump while we're here. Again, this goes on the lift pump just like that. And this piece is really important. So you, you might be inclined to say, you know, I don't care about the fuel strainer and, and probably in theory you don't need it. But this spacer right here has to go between this lift pump and the block. If you don't put the spacer in, this is too long and this will wear against the cam with a lot of extra pressure and either damage the pump or wear the cam out. So you definitely, you know, want to uh, make sure you put that spacer back in there. There's a, I think Larry B or somebody makes a delete kit, which is a spacer, a couple studs, a new fitting for the pump here to take a smaller hose. And uh, yeah, that's about it. But you saw how easy that was. That gasket, I think was $3 or $2.50 at Gino's Garage. And uh, that's done. There's no more fuel heater in there.